Hello and thank you for stopping by the Massachusetts Beer Reviews channel of YouTube. I am Thomas Metal 75 and this is your Massachusetts Beer Reviews. And we had a bit of a nor'easter here yesterday, which was March 2nd, 2018. It did snow briefly, but it was massively windy. I mean massively, 60, 70 plus mile an hour winds. It did the following in my town of Mansfield, it caused 34 road closures, 13 fallen, 13 trees fell into homes, there were two fires that started inside of structures, four cars got hit by trees with people in them, and by the 34 road closures, we're talking about not only are trees in the middle of the road and debris is everywhere and you cannot pass, but there are power lines all over roads, and uh, you probably can't even tell, yeah, that lamp is not on for dramatic effect. We have lost power, and we are going to lose it, potentially, as far as the town says. I finally got to their information on their website through 4G. They say we could lose it for multiple days, so screw this crap. I need a beer immediately. F this. Driving around last night to get home after work was a nightmare. And at one point, 3,100 people had lost power, and we're down at about 850-something. And I'm one of them. Got a buddy of mine that lives uh, across town. He's been having fine electricity the whole effing time. So screw that guy. I need a big old beer at 2.21 in the afternoon. I need a freaking 90-minute IPA from the Dogfish Head Brewery in Milton, Delaware. 9%. Continuously hopped throughout the boil and balanced by a powerful malt backbone for a pungent, not crushing hop flavor. Again, brewed and canned by Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, Milton, Delaware. Canned on an old date. Canned on the 11th of October 2017. Hopefully this is generously hopped where it doesn't even matter anymore. The age. And they say, according to Food & Wine, I think that's a website slash magazine, it is, quote, one of the 25 most important American craft beers ever brewed. So this is... Cool. You've seen this on the channel. I cleaned it. Because we don't have a dishwasher right now to use. This is the... Um, they collaborate with Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head, the um, Spiegel Owl folks, to create the IPA glass. So, if that's not reasoning enough to use this glass, I don't know what is on an IPA from Dogfish. I got two power bricks going right now, USB power bricks. One is powering the other, and then we'll see how the power goes on that. There's sort of the can. Even when I tilt the glass, you get all of this frothy, frothy, uh, eggshell, almost khaki-colored kind of a head to it. So very nice looking. Definitely a deep orangey copperish color. Not very oh yeah, it's very hazy beer. And it just has lots of orangey notes, lots of syrupy sweet molasses kind of notes to it. Lots of lots of lots of hoppy resinous dank oils, but just, it's primarily got lots of piney, dank, resinous oils to it. There is some caramel and toffee malts in the background, and what they're doing is giving this a very oily, sticky sort of a feel about it. Just even in the nose, I can tell it's going to be a sticky beer. And I've had it before, but I can even tell in the nose that it's really sticky. And it does smell like a bigger beer at 9%, so let's just try it. Cheers. Gotta drink these beers before they don't get cold no more in these refrigerators. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Exactly like I thought. I haven't had this in a little bit of time, but... Definitely, as I remember the beer being, it's a very big, 
sticky caramel toffee malty kind of a beer with lots of resinous dank oils. That's like the theme of this beer. That piney resinous dank oily notes. There is some orangey notes. And grapefruit. It does linger around for a little bit, but the finish, I would say, is pretty quick for what it is. And actually, beyond all of that head, to be completely honest, there's a lot of creaminess to the head and fluffiness. But to be completely honest, it's actually somewhat of a redeeming quality where it's actually somewhat refreshing. So I would call this semi-refreshing. Not the most refreshing beer you could have. Get a Session IPA, get a New England-style IPA for a refreshing IPAs, or even just get us here in Nevada Pale Ale. Or a 60-minute IPA is really refreshing. Excuse me. Yeah, lots of really, really, really toasty, brown, bready kind of notes mixing with that molasses-type sweetness. For me, it's just all about this resinous, hop, oily kind of qualities and flavors. And it hits you all at once, but then it slowly dies, which is nice. So, uh, I guess suppose at the time when this came out, and I don't really have the time frame, so I apologize. The Dogfish Head website will tell you when this was introduced, but... I suppose for the time when Dogfish Head came out and for when this beer came out, sure, at that time it probably was one of the 25 most important American craft beers ever brewed. Sure, we've gone hop crazy, we've gone hop stupid, no pun intended to Lagunitas, but we've gone kind of hop stupid with hops and malts and double IPA, single IPAs, New England, West Coast, especially with New England, as you know on my channel, which is ridiculous. But, I mean, look at the head. It just is, the, like, the thickest, creamiest thing, and the lacing is just sticking around forever. I mean, that's goddamn lacing right there. Picture perfect kind of an IPA. Although I do like my, uh, or, or more of my, uh, grapefruit, juicy, yellow, haze for days kind of looks, too. I think as it would warm up a little bit, that resinous, oily, kind of overly sweet feel is going to diminish somewhat. And you're going to get left actually, surprisingly, with some more refreshing qualities to it. So, 90-minute IPA in the power outage, but it's bright sunshine outside. Um, great beer to say F you to Mother Nature. So I'm going to give that, what would I give this? A very high B+. Plus. This is not one that I want all the time. If you're more of an extreme beer lover, and you certainly like your sweet, resinous, um, kind of more West Coast multi backbone, then this is totally the one for you. I guess 88 I want more malt complexities, actually more hop complexities to be completely honest, but then again, we sort of live in a day, in a, an age where that's, people want more of an extreme kind of a drinkability and more extreme beers, although I'm not necessarily a guy that just is always demanding the most extreme beers on the planet, but I think adding more hops in certain aspects and adding more varieties of malt I think would balance this out a little bit greater but hoppy resin toasty hoppy resin oil caramel malty sweetness is the star of said show so 88 perfectly acceptable beer 90 minute IPA. The real refreshing beer is the 60 minute in the line of the minute IPAs. So, till next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers.
I will see you all soon. Wednesday is the 3rd, 4th, 7th, let's say. Yeah. Wednesday, March 7th, 2018. On this very channel, post a comment below and we will get you a link to the video if you want one. We're going to be reviewing Sour Beer, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Cheers and hopefully we'll see you uh, next time when the power is back on. Huh?